Well, this is what we're doing. 50 units. Well, we'll get the units back on. Let's just see how far off we are. In the process, we'll get more data on the engines. I think maybe we should try upgrading this one. I mean, uh, to this one. In theory. All right, tooling. Let me scrap this other one for now. See, that's lighter now, but we've got too much electric charge. How heavy are you guys? I'm gonna reduce the size of the fins a bit. Okay, now it's a little bit better, 7,500. And if we did have this fully done, 7,900 is not great, but, but, without the sounding payload, 8,000, almost 8,200. But still not orbital. Nope, flickeriness. Okay, throttle up, and ignition. Please hold, your orientation is important to us. I don't think it's got to be good enough anyway. As far as the spin stabilization, I mean. Ah. Well, chucks. Okay, I need to just remove those SRBs. What I used to do was tilt the SRBs to spin stabilize it, but I, if they have imbalanced thrust, it's gonna just wobble it to all pieces, so. Here, they're not OP. So maybe we can have them spin stabilize us. It's a little bit iffy. Well, this time I'll want the RCS to point us first, and then we'll have the spin up. Okay. All right, and ignition, and launch. Okay, a little bit of wiggly. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's wobbly. Okay, at least we didn't need the SRBs in order to light this. Well, we'll be a little bit higher up. We have acquired another station for the first time. We have crossed the Atlantic, well, almost crossed the Atlantic. And we have achieved the 4,500 kilometer downrange distance. We are currently... Yes, that is Africa. And we are in the atmosphere just off the coast of Africa. Convenient for picking it up. Well, okay. Not so convenient for picking it up. <laughs> Alright. Back to Space Center. So we finished that program, right? We're done, right? Complete program. Yes. Complete complete program. Uh, any of its contracts? I hate its contracts. It's fine. Early satellites light. Yes. Um. I mean, how hard can they be? <laughs> he said. Um. I don't know how big the satellites are, so it's tough to say. Anyway, this one requires us to complete the suborbital research. Oh, it says any, though. Hmm. We'll disable the falling on except early satellites heavy. I can't do early satellites heavy? 
30 kilograms. Um, we can do the fast with our confidence, but maybe we should hold off on that. It's a pretty expensive confidence cost. Maybe we should just do normal. I always feel guilty about passing the deadline after all. Who came up with these curves? Why does it have the little bump here and go like that? Hmm? What's with that? <laughs> Who made this curve? They just copied some other curve, didn't they? So, low space film return. But technically, we don't have to do any of that. What we need to do for this one, suborbital sub return, is just the advanced biological suborbital experiment. Biological sample, 200 units of sounding payload, and recovery. But we have to go into space with 2,000 meters per second. But I think we can do that. Let's do that with another Thorish, but we're going to edit this Thorish. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll create a clean Thorish for that. Is there a different... Uh, there's a different one that's advanced biological sample? You. We need you, but we don't have enough science for you. Gosh darn it. Okay. Um, okay. We're gonna have to get some signs somehow. But it's 0.05 tons, so we can know that ahead of time. What we need to do is put a little payload that's about 0.05 tons extra. And we'll just say a decoupler here. Oh, does it need me to recover the sounding payload? Sounding payload as well? Early film camera though. We didn't actually do the early film camera experiment. But this will give us the capability that we need, even though we don't have the advanced biological sample right now. Now, it's too tall. <laughs> uh, we'll just upgrade our pad to deal with a little bit of extra height. It says 22 here. I guess it automatically figured that I want that. Um, it's costing too much though. Eighteen is what it is right now. Nineteen. Wow, it costs a lot to get a little bit of extra height, huh? Maybe we should just go with a wider thing overall, which will make it shorter. I should have known 1.25. I should go with just 1.25 because there's parts like this that are going to be 1.25. Went to one meter for some reason. Even though I should know better. And these guys will probably have to be reconfigured to, I mean retooled. And we just need like 1.2 science. Okay. I don't want it to charge me four times for that, so I'm going to make sure that's just one. That's expensive for that service module tank. It's all expensive. Okay, so here we go. We are launching a film return camera in order to get some extra science so that we can unlock the advanced material, uh, advanced biological sample so we can fulfill the last thing in that program. So, invalid situation. Yes, you just wait for a good valid situation. SAS on, throttle is up. Right. Ignition and launch. We will uh, go into the water a little bit, I think. This stage should do the trick. We'll use the Araby stage, the AJ1027, in order to slow our descent down so it's not quite so harsh. I'll let it go as high as possible in the hope that we can slow down with the AJ-1027 for the recovery. That way we'll have more time and more science, but maybe that's a lot. <laughs> but then again we could get an altitude contract, uh, altitude record. Hmm. I guess we'll try that. 
No, it's not an altitude record anyway. Okay, should be okay to separate from that. Oh no! Insufficient avionics! Well, anyway, deploy shoot. Let's make sure that happens. We should be able to still stage, though. I can't throttle up. Ah, yeah, I still can't throttle up. Oh well. There goes that idea. I was hoping that using the SRBs would lighten us enough, but we're still too heavy. Can we dump the sounding rocket payload? I wonder what we can dump. Oh, we can dump the fuel, maybe. That's a bit of cheat. These early film cameras are really resilient, aren't they? Please. Please. No more recovery. Alright, we should have enough science now for the advanced biological sample. But we have to research it. Made a breakthrough, we have access to mass spectrometer one. Now you give it to me. <laughs> we could have used that for the science, but anyway, all right. Well, the film camera wasn't too bad either. I thought I had set it to 1.2 tons of avionics. What did I set, set you to? 1.12. Well, um... Once we replace this, maybe. I guess even if you just change the controller mass, that's enough. It won't let you keep it. 1.12. We'll get there somehow. Are we past time on that? No, we've still got time. The deadline for that was July 12th. It'll make me feel happy if we meet the deadline. Uh, do we get a bonus for meeting the deadline, darn it? Okay, so, advanced biological sample. We need to... We've got the 200 units, we've got it. We will have control. And we need to get to space in 2,000 meters per second. This time we're probably not going to overdo it. Um, we're definitely not going to overdo it. So, ignition. <laughs> And launch. Got a little bit, bit of a shimmy here. A little bit of a shimmy. We'll just stop it at 2,000 meters per second. We'll see whether it is happy with it. Okay, we'll cut it there. Alright, let's just separate the stage for now. Throttle is down. And we'll eventually want to be negative surface velocity. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully it'll be okay. I don't know about tracking what I've done though. Retro fire. Okay, that should be good enough. Separation. Please read that I did this. Please read that I did this. <laughs> oh. No more recovery. Okay, well, I mean, we got that, but I think we did all the things. It didn't read it as done. So I think it says recover them. All right. Uh, we'll build, a, build another one and bring the 200 units back. It needs to be simultaneous. I thought it was simultaneous. Alright, throttle up. 
and ignition. And launch. It's been very suspicious, this engine constantly working and everything. It's got to find a very inopportune time to fail on me. I guess we were less than 2,000 meters per second when I went into space because I cut it past 2,000 meters per second seeing the apoapsis instead of the altitude. Okay. Negative. Release. RCS. This time I can start the retro earlier. Okay, I press spacebar right in the enter the atmosphere. Okay, ignite, ignite, ignite. Uh oh. It's okay, we didn't need those. It's fine. Point eight only. But if we can get it to orbit and bring it back, that'll be a different thing. It's done now, right? No active contract of that sort. So now you we can say that we're done with this. I mean I guess we can just wait and get more funding from it for a little while. But then we could get a different it doesn't have anything lit though. I mean, I don't know if we want to do these <laughs> yet. Hmm. Yeah, let's just wait on that. Those are ambitious. Let's just look at orbit. Stupid downrange milestone. Nobody cares about you. 6,000. It's, it's just orbit already. I mean, we don't have to do that, right? There's not a requirement for this thing. Yeah. Okay, this doesn't even need a uh, payload. Very straightforward. Let's see what we can do and what we can't. Oh, we should modify the existing one. We don't need anything except for the little core. This is fine, I guess. I guess we should go with avionics. Prototypes. No, that's still the steel fuselage. I guess we'll go with aluminum. If I put it right at the top, will it work? <laughs> will it be mad at me? Oh, we can just add it to the pro core experiment thingy. Okay. So, should we have this burning a little bit long? Well, we could at least utilize it more. Let's just try that. Let's tool that one. So that's 8,580. We pump this up. That's 9,000 almost. It's interesting. I've changed the fuel quite a lot, but this still says the propellant GSE is okay. Oh, yeah. Let's update the avionics there. It's just one ton. Uh, we better be careful about that. Say that. It's cutting it close, but... Um, let's see. Do we have the engine upgrade yet? No, I, I didn't get that yet. Hmm. Well, we're pushing this for the full 2 minutes and 15 seconds and hoping it doesn't conk out. Uh, it's, it's starting... Uh, we were editing this one, but... Even though the bulk of it isn't changed, then the engine isn't changed. It's like it's starting from scratch. Hmm. Let's just cancel edits. That's uh, it's too much. We can just build the rocket from scratch then. Okay, now it's looking about right. It's just uh, whether this engine can last long enough, and if it had the upgrade it'd have a little bit more thrust and then our thrust weight ratio would be good enough to uh, 
make orbit with the 9,000, let's say 200 meters per second, hopefully. We could probably trim a few things out here and there. And the fins, I mean, with a gimbling engine right now, probably isn't ne aren't necessary at all. So, 150 kilometers, and that's it. But we do have to make sure it's 150, not 140. Come on, I want my resources. Okay. SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. And launch. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. But we are now in space. Oh, we should do the experiment. No. Alright. Spin. And ignite. Looking good. Okay. All the G forces. We're in orbit. Um. Okay. Two minutes. But we want to wait until the mass spectrometry is done. Yay! First artificial satellite. There we go. And we're out of comms. Let's get the rest of the science though. I don't know. We should have enough battery. Crossing the ex radiation belts too. You know you've got a proper Explorer 1 if it crosses the radiation belts. Okay, back to Space Center. Okay, we've got a, a little news report for Artificial Satellite Orbits Earth on the Thorish 2. And yes, it was Sputnik that did it first. Alright. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.